I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. (laughs) We survived the stinky room and we're heading out into Michigan. Are you excited? I am. Yeah, we're going to go explore the Michigan farmland. Woo! What's out there? I I wonder what they're growing out there. I have no idea what they're growing in Michigan. We're going to find out. No crashies, no whammies, no slammies. As I was packing up to leave today, I noticed that one of my panniers completely ripped off one of the support bars. So I got to find a way to fix this because that's no bueno right there. It's supposed to be like this. That's a lot of weight flapping around this hotel. I think this hotel had little trolls that came in last night and just grr, started pulling out our stuff. We're riding through the neighborhoods here of Muskegon looking for the Muscatawa Trail. And this trail is going to take us all the way to Grand Rapids, which is about 40 miles away. Pretty sweet. And in Grand Rapids, we're going to meet up with uh, some YouTube fans, which should be exciting. And they say they're going to try to help us fix our broken pannier. Pannier. French for expensive bike bag. We've really been loving these rail trails in the Midwest. We've been on them a majority of the time. Barely any riding through city streets. This is great. Weird that we're here in real life and not on YouTube. I didn't even think you guys were gonna come to Michigan. So. Yeah, it was kind of a last-minute decision. This is Ali, as you know. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How's it nice. going? Nice. Oh, it's incredible, man. Yeah. So good. It's an inspiration, it's I tell great. you. It's nice to see you guys doing this. So. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, what's some advice you got for us? Uh, basically, honesty. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, giving yourself some space, knowing that you're two individuals and uh, you're gonna have your own your own ways of life. What do you do during the hard times? Uh, when you're fighting heads when you're fighting. Know that you're going to go to sleep and you're not going to be mad at each other. Um, know that you're going to wake up and you're still going to be together. You're going to work it out somehow. And how long have you been married? 13 years. 13 years. 17 together. I'd like to present you guys with our fire badge from the ah, Red Fire Department. That's so cool. That's Check awesome. this out. <laughs> we can put this on our panniers. I love it. Thank you so much, my yeah, friend. That's really cool. That's our first... Uh, First patch of the ride. That was really fun. Our new buddy Ken is a good guy. He'd been sitting out there all morning in the parking lot waiting for us. And uh, we gave him a little bit of advice on YouTube. He wants to start a YouTube channel. So I said to him, just start doing it. Start creating. Doesn't matter if it's total junk. It'll get better and better and better and better. I always tell people I've never made the perfect video. I'm constantly trying to improve and get better and better. And here's a road. Don't want to get hit by a car. Talking and cameraing can be dangerous. Now we're about 10 miles away from Grand Rapids to meet some more YouTube friends. Uh, the woman's name I've been in contact with is Deep Thee. I think that's how you say it. Uh, we'll see. Should be exciting. They said they're going to buy us tacos. So I'm definitely excited about that. My pannier is still hanging on. I don't think I would trust it like on a bumpy dirt path, but for right now, luckily this path has been smooth and uh, I need to get this fixed because <laughs> I don't want it to fall off someday with my drone and computer in it. Olé, 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 olé. Going right on Seward Avenue. Olé, 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 olé. How's it going? Good, right? Nice to meet you in real life. Thank you. What's your name? Sandeep. Sandeep. Hey. They say there's a good taco place here, is that right? It is a good taco place. Gluten free. Gluten free. Yeah. <laughs> I like this menu, my friends. Look at this. Oh, yes. I'll take some burritos, tacos, tortas, salad, tamales, and quesadillas. Indian style. Oh, look at that. I love it. <laughs> We're sitting here having a great lunch, getting to know our new friends. Baby pictures start flying around. We don't have any baby photos. What can we show them? <laughs> YouTube videos. <laughs> this guy knows us really well. He's like, we just had tacos. Now it's time for ice cream. <laughs> and what is it called? It's called Love's Ice Cream. Look at that, Love's Ice Cream. It's perfect. 
<laughs> Salted caramel, brownie expedition, and it says it's grass-fed dairy ice cream. Look, Look at that. Look how pretty this presentation is. That is amazing. Mm. Oh man, we are in heaven. Cheers, everybody! Yeah. Ice cream cheers! <laughs> Allie, what is this? This is a gift. This is a, um, they're bangles. bracelets, ba bangles. Yeah. yeah, they're bangles. From Sandeep and Deepti. This morning I was in touch with his wife on Instagram, told her that I had a little bit of problems with my bag, and he went and got some screws. So we're gonna see if we can fix my, my bag. So here we are, the bag in question. Yeah. Check this out. Sandeep went to a bike shop, brought three different sizes of screws, and one of them worked. Can I ask you? So. <laughs> don't be ego to stick. <laughs> I am sometimes, but <laughs> don't laugh. You know, like how do you guys make it work? You're in a different country, you're, you know, you have I think that's what makes it work. Right? Because we are so dependent on each other. Because we don't have anybody else around us. Yeah. yeah. She can't. She can't uh, just be angry at me. At me and just go back to her mom's oh. place. <laughs> so yeah. a, we are arranged marriage. I'm not yeah. sure you know about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The whole concept of it. Mm -hmm. But um, in arranged marriage, you tend to take things pretty. Uh, I, we consider it a commitment. Like we consider it a commitment, so we tend to take it easy. Like, oh, she's gonna stay with me, or he's gonna. You, you take the other person for granted, I think. Yeah, granted is the right word to say, I guess. Uh, so don't take, take them for granted. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh. You did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you have a baby together. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now it becomes even stronger. Right? <laughs> yeah. And how, what advice would you give your, what will be the first thing you tell your baby about love? When that time comes and maybe it's her first boyfriend. Oh man. Yeah, it's her first relationship and she's having a hard time. I think you shouldn't be selfish. For me, in a relation, you shouldn't be selfish. You shouldn't, you should really be honest and respect the other person. For me, these are the three main things. Yeah, if the person, right? yeah, the person is not respectful towards her, I'll probably kick his butt. <laughs> but, <laughs> What's something special or nice you do to surprise one another? Together? Yeah. Cook together. We cook together. Uh, we bite together. We yeah. bite together. Yeah. Doing things together, I guess. This is the power of social media. She wrote us last night on Instagram. Yeah. We started chatting. We started riding this morning. I'm like, oh, we're going to be a little bit late because my bot my bag broke. She's like, no problem. My husband's going to bring you some, some tools and we're going to fix it. Yep. Here we are. That Fix the bike. Fix the bike. I know. That's a nice uh, <laughs> You guys are awesome. We have new friends in Grand Rapids. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs>
Oh, this does feel good. This is like the perfect temperature. Those rivers and lakes in the west were just like straight snow runoff. They were freezing. I like the temperature of the, the rivers out in the Midwest. Two, three. I'm gonna come out there and tackle you all. Allie, what's on the menu for tonight? On the menu at Shea Van Duzer, we have um, fitness bread, famous in Germany. We have a fine and well-aged cheddar cheese um, from the world's largest cheese wheel in Wisconsin, uh, and some M&Ms. Nice. These M&Ms are from Merriman, Nebraska. We bought these for James and his friends. James is the little kid that like showed us to the river and we were playing around. <laughs> bought these for his friends and we went back to the park to give them to him and they were all gone. So, James, this is for you. Cheers. Oh yeah, look at this. This is essentially the, the candy burrito right here. And I'm very excited about it. Mmm. Mmm, I like the crunch. tent all night. There were little sparks of fireflies. It was like our own little set of shooting stars. Goodbye, beautiful bird park. You ready? One, two, three, go. Look at the little bunny rabbit. Hello, good morning. Got ourselves a nice bike path to start the day. Then we're gonna ride our bikes, let's see, around 70 miles. We'll end up wherever we end up, we have no idea. This ain't Ragbri anymore, there's no pie ladies. <laughs> but we're loving it, it's a beautiful morning and we're about 800 miles from New York City. interesting back here. Of course, Michigan, Detroit, it's where a lot of cars were made and still are made and we're riding right past, it looks like a bumper factory. Never seen anything like this before. We do not have car manufacturing in Colorado. If young Ryan knew how amazing older Ryan's life would be, I think young Ryan would give me, this older Ryan, such a huge high five right now. He'd say, good job, bud. Good job, bud, for creating this beautiful life. And man, I feel so fortunate right now. Life is beautiful. Our little love bug is looking so cozy on the back of Allie's bike. He's been a trooper. He's been through mud and rain and heat and humidity. He's always got a smile. Thank you, Sarge, for our little mascot. We love him. Another thing I really love about these rail trails is that you can talk to each other really easily. You're side by side all day. And you would think after two months of being side by side all day, every day, 24 hours a day, we'd be sick of talking to each other, but we seem to always find something to talk about. <laughs> it's pretty astonishing, really. Have we gotten sick of each other? Nope. Not really. Well, I mean, sometimes we're sick of each other, but yeah. we get over it. Yeah. We've been looking for the perfect bench to have our lunch, and we found it. This one. Thanks to Janet and John. We have a banana, some avocados, root beer and a Sprite, tortillas, Nutella. This whole spread costs us about $3, so that's also awesome. Yeah, it's very cheap. The Midwest is a lot cheaper than like Oregon, Washington, all those, all those places. Ah, uh, there's something 
really incredible about a fizzy drink on a hot day. Mm. <laughs> oh god, it's good. Look at that. This is some trail gourmet right here. Perfectly ripened avocado, aged cheese, and some wheat-free um, black bread, which is still soft and delicious, and it's so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. back on roads. It's a sad moment. It is a sad moment. We've enjoyed this Amazonian journey through Michigan. Thank you Fred Meyer for this trail. It was beautiful and also here's a fun fact it was named after the Fred Meyer grocery magnate. That's right Fred Meyer himself funded the creation of this fair trail mm -hmm. so you can eat all your Fred Meyer cream puffs and then burn them off right here. That's right. <laughs> Come on, Ali. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. Everybody's excited for beans, yay! Scream if you want to eat beans! Woo! She wants beans, big time. All right, Ali. <laughs> it's about 9 p.m. and we have hidden ourselves in the far corner of this park. It's on a frisbee golf course. Uh, but I think we're good. I think we're good, what do you think? I have the hiccups. You have the hiccups, okay. But we are right next to a river. We're right next to this beautiful river, but we are also definitely on the frisbee golf course. So hopefully nobody is still playing frisbee golf because here we go. I don't know what hole number we are. Maybe we're number 18. But yeah, this is we've got a great spot here. It's right on the river. It's just a little, you know, yeah. illegal. It's fine. <laughs> 